Chinese innovators aren't happy just following Silicon Valley in Europe. They want to be the leaders in innovation, not just followers. OpenAI's recent reveal of their upcoming text-to-video model did set the internet on fire. This compelled a startup from China to roll out their own text-to-video model that dares to stare right into the eyes of Sora. It's called Vidu, and the original demonstration does reflect a lot of promise. After watching the video, I started jumping between Chrome tabs to study more about this model, and this is what I found during my research. A Chinese AI startup, Shengshu Technology, about which I could not find any information on the internet, in collaboration with Tsinghua University, revealed this latest text-to-video model called Vidu, boasting the ability to generate 1080p resolution videos in under 16 seconds. They boldly declared Vidu as a groundbreaking achievement, surpassing OpenAI Sora revealed earlier this year. Shengshu claimed that Vidu's performance matches global standards and positioned themselves as a direct competitor to OpenAI, claiming that OpenAI's model, Sora, is yet to be released for the public. Let's just jump into how this model works. The model rocks the team's original diffusion and transformer fusion architecture, given the name UVIT, to pump out FHD videos up to 16 seconds long. The video release claims that Vidu isn't just mimicking reality. It's got its own imaginations with multi-shot generation and high spatio-temporal consistency. Now if we scroll further down the official release page, we see claims about how the team proposed this UVIT architecture back in September 2022, even before the announcement of DIT architecture adopted by Sora. For some reason, they sound quite obsessed with this architecture, claiming Vidu to be yet another successful verification of the UVIT fusion architecture in large-scale vision tasks. They dub it as a general vision model, which would, in future, allow Vidu to support the generation of more diverse and longer video content. Now, before I go further down analyzing the release video, here are my two cents. Diffusion models are undoubtedly great at generating content, but when I tested these models, I ran into some problems. First of all, these diffusion models cannot understand detailed prompts. They often miss out on details, and since I was using the free version, they took quite a while to generate. Since they took a lot of time to generate and came up with Mars when I asked for Saturn, I was quite frustrated. I had to tweak my prompts a lot to somehow get close to something I fancied. From their release, what blew me away was the fact that they actually tried to mimic footages to make comparison between Sora and Vidu easier. They generated these videos of human characters that look very realistic. Many models struggle with human hands, but Vidu generated hands proportionately and made sure all five fingers are there. So this makes me think that Vidu is better than both Pika and Runway ML. Secondly, they released this footage of an old school vehicle cruising through the wild. Now this one is very interesting because the physics is actually flawless. They did manage to get the dirt coming out of the rear tiles right, but if you compare it to OpenAI's Sora, that video had incredible stabilization and somehow looked more realistic. We don't have any information about the FPS, but from this video, it's evident that OpenAI's Sora will deliver more frames per second when it finally gets released to the public. Now, if we compare the eye close-ups, both Sora's and Vidu's clips show that these models get the job done, but again, Sora's video is more realistic because somehow Sora does a better job with shadows and reflections. I also managed to spot some inconsistencies in Vidu's generations. In one case, a leaf appeared and then vanished all of a sudden. And then in another case, Vidu was meant to depict a wooden ship floating on a blue carpet, but what it generated neither looked like an ocean, let alone a carpet. If such a carpet exists, do let me know where to buy one in the comment section below. Long story short, just by comparing video releases of both Sora and Vidu, you can infer that Sora's generations are far more realistic, consistent, and stable. Some of the clips generated by Vidu that were present on their WeChat page are 720p, which makes me wonder how much they're going to charge for generating full HD videos. Now, since we're talking a lot about Sora, let me tell you something interesting. One of NVIDIA's employees in a recent conversation said that OpenAI Sora has baffled the experts working at NVIDIA. He claimed that they were unable to justify how this model gets the physics right when there is no explicit code chunk meant to handle the job. He added that AIs are learning and adapting autonomously, which helps them do things correctly that are not even present in their code. Isn't that incredible? Now, since we are discussing NVIDIA, it's important to discuss one of the major bottlenecks Chinese AI companies are facing. 
Chinese experts claim that they do not have access to compute like their American counterparts. Just for reference, OpenAI's Sora uses eight NVIDIA A100 GPUs for more than three hours to produce a one-minute clip. These conditions are only worsening for these Chinese startups because of US's export restrictions on advanced chips, such as NVIDIA's A100 and H100 GPUs. China is also facing a ban on their import. Now, political moves like these are not going to help the vision of democratizing AI and its applications. But these moves do have their strategic importance since the battle for generative AI supremacy is fiercely waged between China and the US, with each nation boasting distinct advantages in the arena. As it stands, the US holds the upper hand in generative AI. Statistics reveal a staggering 1.82-fold surplus of American AI enterprises compared to their Chinese counterparts. Moreover, investments in the US generative AI sector outstrip China's by 1.54 times, and the talent pool in the US dwarfs that of China by a factor of 2.01. The US hosts a commanding 42% of the global AI company count, leaving China trailing in second place with a mere 23%. However, China is hot on America's heels, rapidly closing the gap and carving out a significant presence in the generative AI domain. Tech behemoths like Beidou, Alibaba, and Tencent are spearheading China's charge, constructing robust AI ecosystems complete with platforms, assistants, and cloud services. China's expansive population, formidable data collection capabilities, and relentless app innovation are fueling the country's strides in generative AI. Looking ahead, both nations are poised for continued expansion in their generative AI sectors. China sets its sights on seizing industry leadership by 2030, while the US maintains its grip on cutting-edge chip design, pioneering algorithms, and foundational techniques. Amidst this fierce competition, we hope for a collaboration. This is because the US's tech prowess could mesh well with China's drive for affordability, opening doors for a new kind of industrial revolution. And that's it for today. Do let me know what you think about these Chinese startups competing with established US companies in the comments section below. I've made a video discussing 10 emerging technologies that are set to revolutionize our future. Click the video link popping up to watch it now, and I will catch you there in a second. See ya!